Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's my watch list for February 21st. Okay, let's get into it. I have six tickers tonight. First one is LUV Southwest Airline. As you can see on the daily chart, it gapped down huge today on the revision that they came out with news uh, cutting and warning their guidance and revision of their uh, of their guidance for the year. Um, uh, to add oil to fire, Goldman Sachs also came up with a downgrade on the same day to tell people to sell. Uh, it gapped down huge, and then it kind of just went sideways a little bit between the between the 5524s to the 54s area on the daily chart here. Um, I'm looking for more continuation downside. We can see 54 is a key key support area, and uh, I'm looking for a pop and drop tomorrow. Um, 55 is also a very key resistance and psycho psychological whole number. So um, if the stock pops tomorrow at the open, I'll be looking for a short signal here. A pop and drop would be nice and then take it down to uh, watch it snap 54 anticipation, bring it down to uh, 53 and maybe even lower. LUV, that's actually going to be my main watch today. <clears throat> Next up, we have Activision ATVI. Um, this wasn't on my watch list last night, so I totally missed it. In the afternoon, uh, before I went out to lunch, I was uh, flipping some charts and I found ATVI. I already missed the move. I actually shorted it today as well, uh, chasing it. Well, I found a way to join Trent, and I ended up getting an average of 43.50 and shorted it all the way down to uh, to 42.60s area, and I paid myself here and took it all off. Um, had I captured this whole move, that would have been great, but um, that didn't happen. Basically, um, there was bad news that came out that hit the whole entire gaming industry and the section. Uh, I believe if you uh, look up a news feed on EA, let me see here. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me bring this in. Regulators globally increase few loot box. Anyways, I'm just going to put this here. Uh, I'm not going to read out the news, but this is the bad news here. So uh, you can pause the screen, read this news, and understand what caused the, the stock to come down. Anyways, um, I'm looking for an other continuation to the downside tomorrow. Uh, looking at this chart today while I was trading it, 43 was very key, consistent, um, uh, key, concise uh, resistance right here. And uh, I was watching it the whole day uh, from lunchtime on, right? And I'll give it so much to as much as uh, 43.82. So basically, we are looking at the daily chart candle to reference. Um, let me bring it here. Here's that 43 mark. Where's key resistance? And right here is the 43.20. So I'm using this opening candle of the screen candle as a reference here. So we have a very concise uh, resistance zone. Okay, so I'm looking for a pop and drop. Uh, continuation to the downside, we have a lot of space to fill to the, for the down cap, um, at least to the 4220s, maybe even lower to the 4150s, ATVI. EA, same thing. Um, Stock looking pretty weak. It did bounce off a key support level right here today. Okay. But overall, it's the same news that affected the gaming stocks. I assume a little bit. You can see it's uh, what I'm watching for is a pop and drop. Continuation to the downside. Resistance, I'll be watching for um, 100. Um, 101 and 102. That's uh, pretty much it. 100, 101, 102. Uh, to reference it, I'm using the daily chart. Okay, so let me delete that real quick here and I'll show you how I plot these resistance out. First of all, key psychological number 100, all right, right there, as well as the 9 EMA. Second of all, 101 is right around there okay so the bottom of this green candle which held a support this red candle held a support this red candle held a support as well so 101 as well as 102 
which is right here about 102 102 20 as you can see this is where it opened and drops this is a word close word close right closing prices so three areas of resistance uh, I want to see this 9750 snap and then uh, we have a lot of room to the downside maybe five more points to the 9250 that's EA goose is next Canada goose overall the daily chart still looks pretty bullish today uh, I believe it does have a potential to run um, yeah it had a quick dump probably a profit take from this massive day but then it got quickly bought back up uh, the volume is fading a little bit this stock in itself the fundamentals are not bad so I will be looking for the same thesis um, actually the only play I want to be looking for is along off of 5350 if 5350 holds support then uh, I want to long it because uh, this is a pretty key support area and I will be looking for continuation to the upside maybe up to 55 Walmart snacks Walmart um, after its fantastic earnings it has sold off and filled the gap today uh, basically bounce off the 9 EMA we are a little bit under this a uh, large green candle, the high of 100. So 100 is a very key level to watch uh, on the gap tomorrow. I mean, if it gaps up over and holds 100, I want to long it since it is a good earnings and a good callus, right? Um, if it stays under 100, then I want to short it, bring it right back down to the 9 EMA where it tested today. So basically bring it right back down to the low. Um, yeah, that's it. Watching the 100. Um, the 200 SMA here, I wonder how, how it played. On the run-up, it played well. So, I mean, I don't know if it's going to follow on the way down. So, if a pop does happen, I mean, I guess you can mark off 101 as well. Yeah, mark off 101 as a resistance area as well. Okay, so that's Walmart. <clears throat> Finally, uh, Garmin, GRMN. They had a fantastic earnings catalyst and reaction today. Um, one thing I want to look uh, talk about is this is 52-week highs. And uh, looking a, a lot of years back, it didn't really dump until what? This is where it really dumps back in 08, right? But aside from that, this is uh, coming up really strong. Um, I don't think personally all that history matters from the past because it's been so long there is uh, one thing I want to talk about here is that as long as the stock is holding this uptrend line since it is on the 52 week high uh, I do not want to short it yet I want to see this trend line snap okay uh, I'll be looking at fifth uh, 8250 to hold a support so right there as you can see uh, it's the high of today on the first pop here and then it tapped out a little bit, pulled back, broke through, and then chopped around, and then eventually late day it held and ran, right? Um, Want to see continuation upside to the stock. I, I don't know when people will take profits, but uh, yes, it is a little bit overextended, so uh, i got to keep my size small if I'm longing this, and uh, I'll be watching the $5 mark, like $85, $87.25, and then 90 So we'll see where that takes us. Uh, that's basically it for my watch list this evening. If you like what you watch, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Thanks. Ciao.